Okay, moving forward, um, I do have the cylinder heads back from the machine shop. They're completely ported from what the work I did to them. Um, I have to clean them up. It's been sitting for a while. This this particular video uh, has probably been two, three months since I last did the uh, intake valley pan uh, section. So they have flash rusted a little bit. I'm going to have to clean them up. I'm going to use some CLR or some other form of rust uh, you know, corrosion or rust uh, dissolver and then clean these heads. Uh, it should take them off, the flash rust off. I'm not really worried about it. I did have a slight debacle with the push rods. I ordered these push rods from a guy in California. They did come out of a 383 from a 1969 motor. Uh, I did find out that 67 in fact had a longer push rod than 1968 and going forward. The problem I had was I took 40 thousandths off the block and 30 thousandths off the head for a total of 70 thousandths. Now the heads have dropped down that amount and the intake manifold will need to be machined and that's where it's at right now getting machined to fit the intake but the push rods were too long now. I did take a push rod checker, set the head up with a lifter, did get a measurement on it. That measurement was 8.455 or 8.459, somewhere in that area for the new push rods. Uh, the factory push rods for a 383 are 8.55 from 1968 and going up. So, um, motor's still sitting here. We're going to be putting these heads together. I did order those push rods, and they are factory 8.55 rods. They are a scooch too long. Not by much. So I did order from Mancini Racing the rocker shims. Um, I did order their assortment, so I got 10 of each. I got uh, 030s. 010s and 015s for shims. So uh, I will put this together and I will shim up the rocker shaft assemblies as needed. Uh, they're going to be pretty close. I'm going to use the 030s just to give me some extra room. I don't think I'll need more than that, but we will clean these heads and assemble the valves and put them in and get the springs in. So I've gone ahead and cleaned one head. I got it all cleaned out. I used some CLR and got rid of most all the surface rust that flashed on it. Um, after I did that, I did wash it with some degreaser, brushed out all the guides, all the holes, all the bolt threads, and washed it, rinsed it. I dried it as quick as possible, but with cast iron, it does flash very fast. So I was able to dry it really quick with some compressed air and a heat gun. Sprayed the flat surfaces, or sprayed the a rag with some WD-40 and some oil just to cover the head surface. And I also soaked this paper towel that the head is laying on. And it, it's okay. I mean, it could be better, but it, it, at least it's not rusting any more than what it already has. So I'm okay with this at this point. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and finish assembling this head. And this is the passenger side head, so it's cylinders 2, 4, 6, and 8. I'm going to put all the valve seals on, lube up the valves, get them in, put the springs, retainers on, and get this thing ready to bolt on. I'm going to do this video once for this cylinder head, and then it's the same repeat process for the other one. Okay, so all the seals are on. Basically, we just push them down 
and uh, bottom them out right on their guide. I'll zoom in on them. And if the camera will focus, you'll see it. So now we'll start putting the valves in. This is the right side head uh, on the engine, so this will be cylinder number two and cylinder number eight. We'll just flip this on the intake side. Start plunking them in. And put some assembly lube on the shafts. Slide it up into place. Also, what I'm going to do, I believe, is going to go cylinder by cylinder with the springs. That way we don't get ahead of ourselves too much. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> the tricky part are these retainers and the clips. So these uh, exhaust valves have four grooves on these retainers, uh, these clips for the retainers, or what they call keepers. And we're going to put the springs on with the spring retainer head and put them together. <clears throat> Get a spring compressor. Probably going to have to adjust this as a friend of mine borrowed it. And Used it on a different motor. <clears throat> These springs are not a dual spring per se, they are just a spring with a damper inside. There's one. <clears throat> then 
Now the intake valves have just two grooves on these keepers. So we'll find the two grooves. We'll get a retainer. Set up. springs and valves are in with the retainers and the keepers. Next step is to get this bolted on the engine with the head gaskets and put the rocker assemblies together with the push rods. <laughs> 